we have the foundation dug by the excavators. They did a great job, but it was about a foot low in places, so I had to do a bunch of passes with six inch lifts and then compacting everything down to get ready for the footer. And now, after months of preparation, the wood for the footer arrived. Just coming up to the site on a Saturday morning here. Going to move some dirt around. Uh, we started work on the footer, which for the fast wall, it actually needs to be, seems like it's going to take a fair bit of work because we need to make sure all of our vertical rebar, which is sixes on the back, and then fours on the front where it's not retaining as much, need to be pretty close on location. So we actually lay them out on one foot and one sixteenth inch on center. Been using the, uh, got this fast foot bag for the footer. So hopefully that works out pretty well. You guys and I have never used it before. You can see here we got, starting to lay out all our verticals, back into the six. This is on the back. So the house is gonna be bermed in this height right here, plus another three feet on the back. So that's where you got the number six, then also a thicker core. And at some point I'll go into the, probably do a review of the plans and stuff so we can see why it's got a little thicker core on the back. So we're shooting for a pour next Thursday with a conveyor truck, um, open for next Tuesday, but couldn't get the truck here because it's kind of busy season for pouring concrete here. Now, after getting all of the footer prepped, we did lay a bunch of the fast wall blocks on the thing to make sure we hadn't messed anything up and everything looked great. Now, of course, because I'm out here on the western slope living the dream, uh, I have to do battle against keeping cows out of the property. And especially now with the solar panels on site, I don't want cows coming up and rubbing on the solar panels. Because I think on the lower set of the solar modules, they could end up breaking them, which would be a pretty expensive uh, repair after just getting it. So I had to run, I don't know, this ended up being 400 feet of electric fence up over a ditch up to the road that cuts through our property. This is the conveyor truck in action. So I think it's something like 35 feet they can reach with the conveyor, concrete comes then then drops through that sock. And the operator ended up crushing it. He could pretty much, with the controls, um, he's got a little hand operated controls, he could keep that sock pretty much exactly where it needed to be the whole time. And so while we were just focusing on the core, he just magically in the background kept the sock exactly where I needed it to be. Here we have a time lapse of the pour. I was a little worried about where I would want the GoPro to be to make it not overheat, so I put it on a corner, and this is obviously didn't get much, but we can see we had only four guys for this whole pour. Um, three of us sat pretty much scooping it out and get it in basically level as the truck pumped concrete in. And then another guy was hanging out, doing the screeding and starting to trowel it out. Uh, we were worried about setting up really quick because it's a pretty hot day, probably 90 something. But end up, we didn't really have any problems with the concrete curing too fast. So in between the trucks loading up, which what you just saw, we had a chance to start smoothing things out, getting everything screeded. Uh, and then here you're going to see that we end up getting pretty close. We only had maybe a couple cubic feet left of concrete when we finished up. Here's the morning after our pour. Uh, for some reason we got pretty close. Uh, this is all we had left, which is not ideal. It's supposed to have a yard and a half extra. So not sure what happened there. Definitely got it pretty close. Across the top, looks like it's still drying up. A couple of the rebar, vertical rebars, moved on us while we were pouring. Kind of like that guy there, so we'll have to straighten some up, but it seems like they all should be pretty close on location to the centers of the fast wall block cores. So 
So it'll be fun to get out here with the uh, laser level and see where we ended up. I'm totally smooth on this spot right here. Also, once we pull the spreaders, get to see how that looks. That'll like cure a couple days more, and then we'll strip the forms. Should be fun. Hopefully, lay in blocks next week.